we talked about it the last couple of days about playing Air Force, you know, and uh, um, they're the type of team. Dave does a great job. I think Dave just want, does one of the better jobs in, in our league. And their team is always an extremely hard team to play against. We were going to have to have tremendous defensive transition effort tonight. Uh, we knew that uh, we we're going to have to have some defensive patience. Their strength plays really hard against our strength. We're an aggressive man-to-man -man defense, and it's really hard for our guys to have the mindset to kind of pull back a little bit. You can't be as aggressive against a team that's really efficient and know what they're looking for. Um, and, you know, when we did that tonight, they put us in bad positions. But I give our guys a lot of credit. They, they, they hung tough. Uh, they could have folded, didn't fold. They, they stayed together. And this team's really become a team. I said that to you at shoot-around uh, earlier today. And uh, they're, they're trusting each other more. And we, we feel like a team over the last two, three weeks. We really do. So, you know, it's going to be tough. Never going to be easy. You know, and our league this year has been really good from top to bottom. And we knew tonight it's going to be 40-minute game. Coach, I know you never like to make it that close at the end, but you know these are the kind of experiences that could bode well for next week when you go into tournament play because you figured out post games there. No, this time of year, everybody understands what they're playing for. Uh, it's not one team in our league tonight in action that wasn't playing for something, you know, and uh, the urgency on every possession, understanding how important uh, each of those are on both ends of the floor is really critical. And, and then being able to play through some things. I mean, I let our guys play through some, some things tonight. I mean, we had a seven minute stretch to start the game where I could have easily called timeout and uh, tried to gather these guys. And, but, but at this time of year, you got to let, let your guys play through some things. They got to play through it a little bit as opposed to having to call a timeout and regroup. And uh, they, they were able to do that tonight. You did that way you wanted to try to? Well, you know what, well, we've been a really aggressive team over the last Four or five ball games, we haven't settled for threes. We've been a, a really good driving team, maybe one of the better driving teams over the last two weeks in our league. And, uh, you know, tonight they really packed it in now. They packed it in and made it hard for us to drive, and they were taking charges when they were given an opportunity to do it. But we still want to attack the Mountain West and, and try to get some paint touch. How huge was the play that Julian Lewis made of blocking Olichinsky underneath to get to that ball back on the held ball? He's made a couple of really big plays like that. I mean, I go back to the Wyoming game where, uh, where again, I think it was Adams or Gray Ball, one of those guys had a wide open layup and, and from the back side, you know, having the teammates back, he came over and made a big play and he did that for us again tonight defensively. Alex, uh, your experience senior night, uh, that had to be a little scary at the end, you know, you want to win that final game at home, but overall the fact, you know, the salute that you got before the game and coming out and having a good game in front of the folks for the last time. Um, I just want to come out and do it on the floor for the guys. Uh, I mean, anytime you go into your scene, it's going to be emotional. I mean, I had a lot of emotions built up, but I do want to stay focused because we had a test at hand that we had to uh, accomplish, and that was during this game. And I think that was the most important thing that we had to accomplish. So I think we did a good job of just <coughs> trying to wait to pull it out, even though it was a close game. And is there a chance, Coach, I know it's, it, it made you – Go a little crazy there at the end, watching Caesar turn it over and then have the 10 second violation after that and, and almost give Air Force the, the chance to win it there at the end. But can that be a good thing that you dealt with that now as opposed to it happening in Las Vegas and ending your season? Well, I think go out played uh, so much of when, you know, right now it's about advancing, surviving in advance. We survived literally tonight at home and, and still advancing. And, and that's what you do in this time of year, you know, and, and so much of advancing in, in, in this time of year is with guard play. Guard play is critical. Guard plays have to, they have to be to make the right decisions with the ball down the stretch. They have to be to make free throws down the stretch. Uh, guard play at an elite level gets you, you know, get a chance to, to advance. And tonight, uh, again, Caesar's working through some things. Uh, you know, he, he has the experience, and, and he wants to make the right play. You know, but uh, you know, he just has to has to buckle down and understand time and situation and, and, and get things done. You know, and even with that last ten seconds, you just got to bring the ball up the floor. I mean, I shouldn't have to call a timeout for us to, uh, to get a 10 second call. But you know what, we persevered through it, good, bad. You know, at the end of the day, you know, a month from now, you know, we'll remember this as a win. We won't remember what the score was. Now has to make you as the head coach and trying to get this group together with the chemistry. So very proud of him and the team. No, oh, absolutely. I mean, we're up nine at halftime and he hasn't scored, you know, but he has four assists. Uh, you look at his, at, the, at his last line here, he somehow got to 10 points, somehow. And, uh, you know, the, but he had nine assists. I mean, Marvell was a very unselfish player. He'll share the basketball as much as we want him to score and do those kind of things. We really 
you know, we've ridden him a lot this year, you know what I mean? And he looks a step slow tonight, you know, for whatever reason, you know. And, you know, I, I, I talked to our guys about this time of year, you have to understand it's really important you take care of your body. He's logged a lot of minutes, probably more than any player in our league this year. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really important that he doesn't break down right now and stuff. But he did some very positive things for us and made some positive winning plays for us. Rodney, securing the first round by, is that something that excites you? Absolutely. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, you want to give yourself every opportunity uh, to be in position uh, this time of year um, to, to reach your ultimate goal, and that's to, to advance to the NCAA tournament. And, uh, you know, having a chance to go in there and have to play three days, uh, you like your chances a lot better than having to play four days, you know, which is really taxing and really hard, you know. And we got a chance early in the year to play three games in a tournament. And I think it, it'll, it, you know, that again, those type of experiences will help us come conference play. So our guys know we can put in the book back to back nights. And this being your 10th conference win, is that something tonight that you can be happy with? Or is it uh, just on the boys and on to the conference tournament? Well, I, I mean, I think anytime you know, we play this time of year, you, you can only keep it for one night. Win or lose, you have to move on to the next one. I mean, we're going to. We're going to obviously enjoy, uh, obviously, what we were able to do tonight. Alex got a win in his last last home game here as a senior. Um, you know, we'll be on to Boise tomorrow, which is a, which is a big deal for us as well. But ten wins, double digits in this league, it's pretty good. And and doing it at home and what we were able to do this year at home, uh, we're eleven and three at home. We had great support here all year long. It's a major deal. I mean, we don't get that done without the Red Wave being here supporting us. Uh, but, uh, you know, I thought we did what we need to do in conference play at home this year. You know, we maybe with the give and take, we you know, have that warm and one more, one more uh, overtime action to play. We may have a chance to get a win, but we did, we did what we need to do at home. Coach, that message that you shared with the fans at the end, was that scheduled or was that an impromptu thing? No, I, you know what, it's something that I wanted to say all along. I wanted to be able to say a lot of times you get a chance to say it through social media, but it's not really something that comes from the heart and, and, and something that you really mean. They, you know, I want to let them know we really appreciate them giving us a home court because in this league, you have to have a home court. Every venues we go to, I mean, they're, they're, they're tough places to play. I mean, we go play Saturday, it's going to be a sellout crowd, you know, and uh, our, our home crowd really willed our guys. They willed our guys tonight to a victory, and uh, they've meant a lot to us. They really have, and they've been a difference for us this year, being 11-3 and at home. What did you think about uh, Alex inviting up the entire team for his uh, senior day honor? Alex is a team guy. He's always been a team guy. He's, a, he's about winning, and, and uh, he's a very competitive guy. And, and he's really, again, you know, these guys are like his brothers. He's gonna have, these guys are going to be lifelong friends the rest of their lives, long, well after their playing days. And, uh, but to have him say, hey, you know, he said it today at shoot around, Coach, I'd love to have my team come out with me tonight. Uh, and, and, and support me on senior night. And, uh, but that's who he's been the whole time he's been here. He's been about the team. Alex, you talked this week about in practice about how this team is able to play well down the stretch. Separation months have gone, now it's March and you guys get ready now. Do you feel like the team, what's the vibe like in, in the locker room when you guys are talking about going to Boise and then getting ready for the tournament? Um, I feel like at this point in time, we're playing our best basketball. Uh, I feel like the vibe is perfect, I mean, the guys are just gelling together every day, and uh, we're starting to find out what the, each, each other's uh, sweet spots is on the court. So I think that's going to help us in the long run. I think it should help us going to Boise because we're going to have to be very, 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 I mean, just on point with everything because we know those guys, we know boys have a good team. We know they playing for something, we playing for something, and they're going to come out playing their best basketball. And we playing our best basketball at the right time, and I feel like there's no better time to play Boise at, the, at this time because we playing our best basketball as a team. Alex, I know you touched on senior night earlier. How would you summarize your entire career so far at Fresno State, and even including the decision to come here when you transferred from Hutchinson? Uh, it, it's been very different. I mean, uh, when I was recruited, I was, I was recruited to play a different position. I had to learn how to do a lot of different things and uh, to be there for my team and uh, learn how to affect the game in different ways. And I, and I feel like it's had, it has helped me mature as a, as a person and also as a player. I mean, I feel like going on, wherever it may be, uh, wherever I might play in the future, I think it's going to help me a lot. You know, just me coming here and being able to expand my game and uh, just be able to learn a new position. And uh, I think that's going to help me in the future.
you have a question? You mentioned it's uh, likely to be a sellout crowd Saturday night in Boise. They're going to be playing for the conference championship and the number one seed. You guys have already played them. I mean, in a way, does the tournament start Saturday night in Boise? Because you're not going to face anything that hostile in Vegas, are you? Well, I thought it was. I thought it was still going tonight. You know, so. <laughs> but no, it's going to be a great environment. Uh, I know it's probably one of the big, biggest basketball games that they've had in their their uh, their basketball history over there. Um, you know, but this time of year, you just embrace playing and having an opportunity to play for something. There are a lot of teams right now, the conference tournaments going on right now, and there are a lot of teams that's done playing right now. So, you know, if you're playing, you have an opportunity to play in a, in a, in a great game, great atmosphere, we're going to be excited about the challenge. We know we're playing a really good team, a team that's probably, is, you know, their top 25 team. So we're, we're excited about the opportunity.